Hey everybody and welcome to TV2 on this peppy Friday. The Winter Wonderland Sweetheart Dance is in the books and it's tournament season for winter sports. All that and more on today's Chieftain Report. Hi everybody, it's February 16th. I'm Nicholas Kubapur. And I'm Jasper Jones. Welcome back to the show. Have you had a good week, Jasper? Good spirit week? Oh, yes, I have. It's been pretty spiritual. Mm. Yeah. We've got a lot to get to on the show today, so let's jump right in with the announcements. A couple weeks ago, our high school hosted its 11th annual Poetry Out Loud competition, and we haven't yet congratulated the winners. Senior Kayla Cordell won the first place prize, and she will be moving on to the regional competition this weekend. Gracie Miller won second place, and Katie McAbee won third place. Again, congrats, girls. Seniors, are, are you wanting to look at yourself when you're older and ask yourself, where'd all my hair go? I used to be so handsome. Well, you better hurry up and turn in your pictures. They're due by February 28th. You don't want to forget all the memories in high school and miss your hair, <coughs> Mr. Stun. Well, seniors, pictures aren't the only thing you'll need be, be needing to get turned in. Next Friday, the 23rd, all local scholarship forms are due. So if you haven't already, make sure you're working on those and getting them done. They can be turned in to your guidance counselor. Hey, 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 Monday's President's Day. Sorry, teachers. I know it stinks that you have to come to work on President's Day. I'm sorry. But don't send me, text me, write to me, post any grades, give me work, or anything while I'm trying to sleep in. Thank you. In national news, this last Tuesday, private aerospace manufacturer SpaceX successfully launched its new rocket, Falcon Heavy. With its 27 rocket engines and 5 million pounds of thrust, it is the most powerful rocket in the world. To put those numbers in perspective, this rocket was going nearly 15,000 miles per hour in just a little over two minutes. Have you ever been on an airplane before? They rarely go above 600 miles per hour. Nobody's on the rocket, but SpaceX founder Elon Musk did put his personal Tesla on it. Jasper, can you believe that? There's a red sports car flying in outer space right now. That sounds actually pretty cool, Nicholas. Musk also mentioned that he hopes this launch inspires a new space race. That would be cool. In local news, Luther, a dog on the police force, has retired last week after serving nine years in the canine unit on the police force. Officer Joshua Mowry says that the dog gets off the force in terms of overall health, gear served, and expected quality of life. Luther, Luther and Officer Mowry were the first ones on the police force when it was created back in 2009. He was a good boy, maybe even the best boy. Here's your Chieftain weather. Good morning, LHS. Hope you guys like rain because we're in for a wet one. This five-day forecast will consist of rain, rain, and more rain, so let's drop right into it. Today, there will be a high of 50, low of 23, and a 70% chance of a.m. showers. Tomorrow, with a 50% chance of p.m. showers, we will have a high of 41 and a low of 27. Sunday, it will be mostly sunny with only a 10% chance of rain, a high of 47 and a low of 34. Monday, with a high of 57, a low of 53, and a 70% chance of rain, we will have yet another cloudy day. And to wrap up this very gloomy five-day forecast, Tuesday will only have a 40% chance of showers with a high of 66 and a low of 51. Well, that's all I have today. This is Emma Gabriel, TV2 Weather. If you missed it last Friday, here's some sights and sounds from the dance.
I'm here with Nisha, Mint, Lisa, Alina. Uh, first off, what country are you each from? We we from Thailand, Germany, and Kazakhstan. Uh, did you guys enjoy the winter formal dance? Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> okay. How does this compare to dances from your own countries? Um, it's very different. Like the way they dance, it's very different from our country. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't really have school dances in Germany, so we just have a prom, so. All right, thank you guys. I'm here with the DJ from the dance. Now, how do you feel about our dance? Like, I think you guys had a good time. I, everybody seemed to be, you know, having a good time. There was a lot of dudes up here dancing with girls and, you know, covered in sweat, and that's how you do it. You know, if you're not, if you're not just ready for a shower and a nap after you leave, you didn't do it right. Hunter, did you like the dance? Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good dance. All right, do you think you'll come back next year? Uh, no, because I'm a senior. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. What was your favorite part about the dance? The food. It's been a long season, but winter sports are coming to a close. Tournament season is upon us. The girls basketball hosts their first tournament game tomorrow. Let's do it. Welcome back to your Chieftain Sports. I'm Danielle Green. And I'm Brittany Polly. Let's get into it. The boys basketball team played Vinton County and won with a final score of 66 to 41. 
The boys also had a great win over the Nelsonville boys basketball team with a 43-point lit victory over the Buckeyes. This throwback game was a great game to watch in the middle school Katie Smith Gymnasium with the crowd and players dressing up and throwback prices for concessions and tickets. Caden Landis had an impressive slam dunk in the first quarter and the Chiefs were in a comfortable spot coming out of halftime with a score of 37 to 18. During the boys third quarter they didn't let up on the team and ended the third quarter 62 to 23. The final score of the game was 73-30. to The boys have their senior night against Warren tonight, and the theme is whiteout, so come out to support the team and their seniors. The girls' basketball team played against Dublin Jerome with, Marie, with Raya Davis leading the team with 21 points and Haley Sammons adding 13 to send the seniors out with 54-47 to victory. And here are some sights and sounds from, seniors, from senior night. Logan wrestling team traveled to Dublin Jerome to take part in the All North Tournament last Saturday. Logan finished ninth in a field of 16 teams at a very competitive 16-man bracket style tournament. Logan had no individual champions at the meet, but four individuals placed in the top six. Individual placers were Colin Duke in fifth place at the 120 class, Thomas Reynolds in sixth place at the 138 class, Carter Frazier third in the 145 class, and Brady Guerin placing third in the 220 weight class. Congratulations. The girls and boys bowling team defeated Fisher Catholic with the girls scoring 1,702 pins and the boys scoring 2,366 pins. Staying with bowling, the girls and boys continued their winning streak after traveling to Morgan with the boys scoring 2,100 pins and the girls scoring 1,824 pins. Also, the girls and boys bowling team played the Blue Devils with winning the game with 2,184 pins and the girls with 1,824 pins. Now here's some sights and sounds from the boys and girls senior night. We got not a lot of people here, a lot of distractions. We got the gun now. We got the gun now. We got the gun I'd like to wish the girls basketball team good luck in their first tournament tomorrow. I'm Danielle Green. And I'm Brittany Polly. And that's all we have for you this week. Where the croissants are stale and their wine is bitter, here's a look at the French Twitter. Social media is everywhere, recently including our French classroom. I'm Maya Burgraff, here with Madame Rauschenberg. So, what inspired you to make your Twitter? Um, well, I saw that some other teachers are doing Twitter, and I thought that would be something fun, and I could get some French out there um, outside of the classroom and just in a fun way. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, what kind of stuff do you post? Um, I like to post, post puns that work across the languages, or different memes in French class, or 
recently over Christmas break, I even posted some vacation photos oh. so my students could see French in the real world because I was in Canada. So what can we look to in the future for your Twitter account? You just never know. I'm going to try to continue with the jokes and the puns and the memes, and maybe they'll see more real-life French out there somewhere. I just don't know. Okay. As you can see, Twitter is pretty popular here. Meyer Burgraff, TV2 News. Thanks for tuning in. We hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend. I'm Nicholas Kubapur. And I'm Jasper Jones from TV2. The Deuce. Jasper, can you believe that? There's a red sports car flying in outer space right now. That sounds pretty cool. And I think if we put trucks in space, I don't have to hear them rev up in the parking lot because no one can hear anything in space. You know what sounds good? Some Texas toast croutons. For today, so let's jump right in to the announcements. Seniors. Are you wanting to look back at yourself when you're older and at? <laughs> Just that <bad> guy first. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever you say, Nicholas. I don't think they're recording. Oh. <laughs> if you missed it Friday, here are a few sights and sounds from the NHS something. What was it? Wait, what was it? What was it? The Winter Wonderland? No, 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 wait, 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 seriously. Why the croissants are bitter? Wait. Oh, dang oh, it. Oh, that was good. <laughs>